Select an image in Illustrator and go to Edit, Edit Colors, and down to Adjust Color Balance. Once you're in there, you can see now you've got an option here, RGB. Now this document is in the RGB document space. You can set that via file, and you've got here Document Color Mode. So you can just set it there. Now, if I go to CMYK, it will say CMYK there. So what you can do now, you can go move this to change the red. You can push the red up. However, you notice nothing changes because as usual with Illustrator, this preview is turned off. Makes no sense to me why that is off. Personally, it should be on because you want to see the color change unless you randomly know that 71% is going to make it look like that. It makes more sense to actually see it. So you can just then tweak it green, maybe go that way and push the green up there and so on. So you can run through. Now, of course, probably better to edit this in Photoshop. Obviously, there's a lot more color functionality in Photoshop, but you can do it in Illustrator. And you can tweak this backwards and forwards, just maybe make it more blue like that. Now, these, no use whatsoever when it's an image, so you can deselect those if you want. Doesn't make any difference. But you've also got an option here for grayscale. Now, grayscale. So with grayscale, you've got here an option because you need to convert it because you can't access it. Why it doesn't auto convert makes no sense either. Maybe there's a reason, maybe there was a reason many years ago. To me, convert. And then what you can do, you can tweak it. So you can make just the right black and white grayscale image that you want. Because there is a convert grayscale, just an automatic. But I don't really like that sort of thing. I prefer to be able to tweak it and say, you know what, that's what I want. That sort of light image, exactly what I want. And you can just move backwards and forwards. And again, if you want to, just deselect that, put it back to RGB, and then continue to work with that. And of course, you can always apply it. Click OK. You've got that now in slightly redder, of course. You can always go to Edit, Edit Colors, and again, adjust color balance, go in there, and again, grayscale, click the convert, and then again, make certain previews on, and then you can see the result there. So you can you can tweak it a bit more so you can get exactly the right grayscale image that you want. However, what you can also do, and I'm gonna undo that, got that selected, you can also go to file, and obviously depending on what document mode you're working in, if I go to CMYK now, I can go back to that. That was what I had actually originally in my, one of my earlier tutorials. So I'm just gonna go back to that. And now I can go to edit, and again, edit colors and adjust color balance. So I can go in there, and now you can see what happens, CMYK. So you've got CMYK, and you can go down here, again, previews off, so click it on. Never sticks, unfortunately, don't know why. And then you can tweak this, and you can say, oh, you know what, want that more cyan. Or go the other way and so on so you can just tweak just create beautiful colors just by say changing magenta just tweak that blacks and and then if you're happy with that of course you've got your great design click ok and you've got your image there but again you can do exactly the same as well edit and edit colors and adjust color balance and you've got again grayscale and again you can do the convert make certain previews on, and then you can tweak it again. And again, go backwards and forwards until you get exactly the right grayscale you want, and you can click OK. However, there are a few other additional ones. You've got Edit and Edit Colors, and you see you've got Convert to CMYK, do that one, or Convert to Grayscale. Personally, I don't like those auto converts, and you've got Invert. I'm not certain why they didn't include the Invert feature inside the Adjust, would make sort of more sense, personally. There's also an option down here for saturate. And you can see it pops up, and you can gain preview, and then it says no saturate. And then it, it, at the same time, it actually does something, it saturates it, just comes up with a message saying it can't do it. Go the other way, no colors found, oops. Then obviously it completely obliterates it, and then you've got there, so you can, it's one of those, weird ones where it loves popping up messages without actually communicating any rhyme or reason why it's sort of not what it's doing sort of thing. However, that's the color features that's, now there are some applications, uh, plugins I should say, that are available. 
you can see uh, Phantasm. Phantasm's a really good one. And you can find that, let's see if you've got Phantasm, for some astute graphics, find it here, window, and I'll probably look here and find it's not down here. Yes, Phantasm, I knew it was gonna be somewhere. So Phantasm, and you've got tons of functionality that you can manipulate various images as well. Great sort of features. Now, of course, at this point, you can see, you just tweak it like that. It's a sort of Photoshop within Illustrator. But you may prefer just to go to Photoshop and edit. If you've got Creative Cloud, of course, you can go bounce backwards and forwards reasonably easy. Still not as good as it should be personally, but I think it's, uh, but it's getting there. But it would be nice, oh, you can see, you can check, create some great colors in Phantasm. Worth checking out their website, Stute Graphics, for some great colors, so you can get some very unusual looking effects there. As an alternative to all the edit commands, what you can do, just go over here and rectangle tool. With the rectangle tool, just create a rectangle on top of the existing design. And you can see it's filled with obviously something, it doesn't particularly matter, because I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change it to say yellow. And also it's got a frame as well. And of course, I can't see where it is. So I'm just gonna, just so I can position it. Yeah, it's perfectly reasonable. So I can change that to green, say. But once you've done that, you just go over here to opacity. And of course you can actually add multiple rectangles. You don't have to have just one. So multiple rectangles, and then you could recolor in, of course, combinations. But you can go here, opacity, click there, and you've got here, green there obviously displays that, but you've also got blend mode, so you can turn around and say, let's change your opacity. So you've got a nice green there. So I've set it to 60%, make it 27%, or maybe go the other way. Just put it 100% and then go for blend modes and just go darken. And you can see then you get this obviously there, multiply. Now there's not as many blending modes as obviously in Photoshop, but you can run through like difference and so on. You can run through say screen and many more. But that's a quick way of just tweaking the colors. And of course, you've got that selected. You can change color here. So you can go through that and think, oh, that green, purple, blue, etc. So you can run through those. And as I said, you can always add multiple ones on top as well. And you've always got effects as well. So you can maybe blur things, tweak things. You've got masks, you've got gradients. So you've got quite a lot of, you can make it like that if you want to change that, tweak and maybe blue effect like that. That's another option. Another thing, you can go to edit menu, edit colors, and then to adjust color balance. And there, what you can do, convert and go with grayscale. So you've got it into grayscale, preview of course, put on. And you can see you can change that, go backwards and forwards, click okay. But what you can do, you just go over here, click that, bring up a color, go for say red, click OK, and then you've got your design, not just grayscale, you can now turn it into a lovely red design like that, just for here. So you can just change it. Oh, I'll go for blue instead. Click OK there. And you can do the same, obviously, with any other color as well. Unfortunately, you can't do it with gradients. That would be very nice as well. But run through those and just change it there. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Thank you much.